The Real Buddy preset by Art Visuals makes the task of turning long form content into short form content a lot easier. So I want to turn my previous video, which you can check out right here, into a short. And so now I go down here to this cog wheel. I'll check use vertical resolution and hit save. But then I go to the media pool and drag my clip to the timeline. Then I'll cut it up and make the edits that I need. Now that I have my video cut down to a short, I want to make sure all the key information is visible when in that short format. Now that's when Real Buddy comes in. So now I'm gonna go to my effects panel. I'm gonna go to effects and grab an adjustment clip. Then I stretch it out to fit the entire composition. Then I go back to the effects. I'm gonna go to the toolbar and type in real. And I'm gonna grab the real button and bring it to the adjustment clip. So now you can see here, you get an accurate one-to-one -one look at what your content is gonna look like on different social media platforms. By default, it's set to TikTok. You hit the drop down menu and then change it to Instagram, Facebook, or YouTube Shorts. Now right now it's cropped in on a one-to-one. -one. So if I go down to frame, I can leave it at one to one. I can turn it 16 by nine, which basically will keep it centered in, in the middle of your short. Or I can go to custom and to undo all that and basically just leave it in the format that I already edited in. If you want to create a custom ratio, you can change the width and length using these controls. You can also round out the corners too. So if I was to bring it down and shorten it up and make it a little square, I can round out the corners. Looking back on the one to one controls, you have these background controls. This allows you to customize the blur you see in the background. If you have a vignette which darkens the corners, you can turn it down when you get rid of it, you then adjust the size of the background, which is basically dubbing your clip in the background. Or you can turn down the opacity and get rid of the background blur altogether. Going back up to the top, you have the safe areas. So if you turn this all the way up, turn this up and basically gives you the area where it's optimally most safe to have your content. Pretty much anything beyond these borders might get cropped out or cut out or covered up by some of the icons, depending on what platform you're putting it on. You can also change this to story, which oddly enough, since they discontinue YouTube stories, they just give you a message saying stories have ended. Then if you go back and click on Instagram or Facebook, anything like that, you get an accurate depiction of what your content gonna look like on that platform. Now, if you use the controls to customize your content, of course you don't want to overlay on your final render, so all you gotta do is disable it. You go up here to the top now and hit this little check mark. It'll disable the overlay, but it will maintain all the effects that you customize utilizing preset. I'll leave a link in the description down below. If you have any questions, feel free to ask, and I'll see y'all next time.